Damn. You want some too, huh? Oh. All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of TNT Gaming. I'm your host, T. And we are back doing some more Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption. Redemption. <laughs> yes, now in our previous episode, they robbed the train. They did. They got the information about O'Driscoll robbing the train, and so they decided to rob it first. And his name was Cornwall. Leviticus Cornwall. Yeah. Yeah, and so we don't know like, who this guy you is. You know who train you Right, robbing? yeah, but apparently this guy, he's a big deal. Yeah, with a lot of money. Right, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they got the bonds. And then afterwards, um, they decided to head out. But first of all, Arthur, hmm. he didn't kill the people. Oh, yeah, he let them go. He let them go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, Dutch, Dutch left it up to him. He was like, hey, I don't care what you do. He was like, take care of them. And here's the thing. We have been questioning this whole time, mm -hmm. are they good guys? Right. And so we see like two different spectrums yeah you right. see them like taking care of the people yeah, in the village and, and then and then next thing you know they robbing a the train right yeah. but they're doing what they need to do right. to survive it's almost like a robin hood kind of thing you know okay i can see that yeah, rob from the rich and, get to the poor. but i think it's gonna it's gonna come back on them because you can't rob a train and do a bad man's thing and then be a good guy and save their lives. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to come It's going to bite back. them yeah. in the ass, because, and they're going to have more enemies. Right, because whoever this Leviticus guy is, he's going to be after them, but then also O'Driscoll's probably going to be pissed that uh, he got didn't get a train. chance. Yeah, he got the train. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump back into it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, let's go. Oh, and they left the town. They left the town there. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're oh. leaving the town. Yeah. Right, yeah. So they're heading somewhere new. Yeah, probably further west. Definitely yes, boss. Further west. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? Yeah. With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. It's a hope. You can buy right. me a whiskey. scares me. <laughs> right. This music is, like, very hopeful. <laughs> Don't let your guard down. <laughs> Imagine how tough doing calm. like doing that kind of stuff back in the day. Yeah, oh, I played organ oh, 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 I know. The wheel okay. fell off. Let's take a look. Uh oh. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. They didn't have AAA back then. Oh. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try to put the wheel tires. back on. <laughs> you still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Dash <gasps> wheel. Nearly there. He gonna hurt his shoulder. Something fell in the, um, the river, See? too. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, oh look at that. Look at Native mountain. Americans. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Mm. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. Yeah. I'll tell you. If yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. This is too slow. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Mm. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Mm. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, 
Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Oh. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but mm. when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her oh, somewhere. No. We never saw her again. Dang. We drifted around. He was a very sad man. Drink had a mean hold on him. You can't drive. I'm 13. <laughs> Shit. I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Yeah, Are we man. still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin mm. forests as we plan? <laughs> no. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law <laughs> east down the mountains? <laughs> yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of oh. place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Oh, Baker no. Let's hope not. Damn. This place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? That Horseshoe is... Overlook. Oh. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked fairy out. Job again. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. Mm. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. <laughs> I like that everyone has a story. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone has a little backstory. Anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the Holy point where I can do medicine. it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> It makes me want to go out west. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Horseback riding? Not quite. <laughs> I feel like I'm already heading out there with the guys. Oh, yeah. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Riding on the wagon. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For but now, now, now <laughs> it is time to prosper. <laughs> Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have mm -hmm. all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Mm. Kept us alive. 
kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from a dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around yeah. you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. <laughs> now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Hey, he's the man with the plan. I know. Sound like he had a messed up tough, plan earlier. But we theory. are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time oh. for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. <laughs> this seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Okay. Now be sensible out there. Teamwork. All right, I and I like that, because he's Mr. not, Morgan, come like, with me. You two will be right. he's not, like, taking all the money. But he was like, the camp gets his slice. Yeah. Everyone earns their share. So that's that's fair. Yeah, but if I find some chicken, I'm going to eat that chicken. Right, yeah, and definitely. And whatever's left. Whatever's left, you bring it to the camp. <laughs> Make sure. That's just like how I got my french fries. I, I know. Yeah. But we put you it over. was messed up, though. Pure. You know why. I'm sure you know why everything was messed up. will be fine, Mr. Bouchard. <laughs> it should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oh, damn. Well, at least he got cigarettes, Lil. Mm. <laughs> Uh, a couple of weeks later. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spot of black water in that whole mess. I need to know. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. He's and Swanson Javier. found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. The <laughs> last time we seen him, he was stressed. Mm. Ow! 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 Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> so, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Oh. Well, what you got planned? Nothing. 
We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. <laughs> Let's <robin>. go. <laughs> I know, right? Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> things ain't changed. I can't right. believe we're going to see civilization. City girls <laughs> like we <laughs> right. yeah, One point. Valentine. Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Like we going to All Miami. Right. Now. Now. Take a look. <laughs> Ladies, sing us a song. Uh, I got a girl that's very real. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more. Like there's a blue horse laying outside her door. They can't sing. I had a girl in Valentine's. Go right here. Like it's quicker. She likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue in her hat was two feet tall. Cracking her pants made for it all. Damn. I got a girl in very real. Can't get her because she won't stay still. Oh. I got a girl and Mary. Yeah. <laughs> the original version. Right. Uh oh, somebody coming. Lumbago. It's very serious. <laughs> What's Lumbago? I thought you wanted to head into town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. Oh, Lord. Uh, Why didn't you help that poor man? <sighs> it's really serious. It no, can you be can't really like... help people back in those times. What about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. Yeah, I had it back. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> oh. oh. Very inspiring, Arthur. Ride to Valentine. You got your direction straight? Feels wrong. Lumbago, really? The train coming. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. <laughs> yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. <laughs> That's it, boy. They need to have different names. Hmm. I wouldn't tell people my real name. And she over there like, good job, author. Right, I would have yeah. been like, my name is Bill or something. Right. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. Yeah. Got to. Especially if y'all robbing and right. lying yeah, and killing and all those kind of things. This don't feel right, Arthur. Feels like the wrong direction. Yeah. That was good. He did a good deed. Yeah. She Woo! said it don't feel right Smell now. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Fine. They got electricity? Look at that snow on the mountains. You sure Who's don't want to be early... back up there. Look at it. Those yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like early 1900s, oh, I think. Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. 
Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Mm, that looked like Stone Mountain. <laughs> like the village of Stone Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> That's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's the meaning oh. of this? Oh. Goddamn believable. All right, here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his <laughs> finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second Ew. favorite parasite. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, <laughs> then you. <laughs> Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Bad You're looking a bit the tired morning. there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's Jolly on the top tracks. shelf. Here's the door. He already well, drinking it. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, you got you got I think I got Damn. something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. Mm. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess uh -oh. I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That oh, does shit. not look ideal. Excuse me. Uh-oh. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Uh-oh. Get your hands off mm -hmm. of me. Oh. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? Uh-oh. You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Who's he? I ain't I don't know. This with you. I like his Uncle accent, though. Mary Beth, they're across the street. Okay. He knows her Thanks, personally. Arthur. Yeah, she probably ripped him off. No, he knows her whole name, though. Can I help you, sir? Tilly Jackson. <laughs> I'll shoot you down. You looking for a room? No. No trouble like. now, please. <laughs> oh, man, this music. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. They had Wrong to try just in the room. <laughs> Oh, he was on the bathroom? Yeah, he was on the toilet. Oh. I'm getting what I paid for. Uh-oh. Oh! Hey! Oh. Oh. 
friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh. oh. I paid for nothing. Think you two could scam me? Damn. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Say it, lay low. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and but check his pockets. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. What? No, you need to go. What the hell? They uh, are causing trouble. Babe, remember when we started watching this and then we were like, oh, Dutch is taking care of his people. He got <laughs> women and children with him. <laughs> he got prostitutes, scammers, and killers, and outlaws. Hey. Like everybody in this riding with him, they're all bad. I mean, <laughs> but are they really bad? Oh, or man. this is the situation that they're in because it's not like she could be like a teacher or something of that nature. She could. I mean, she, okay, so they're traveling. Yeah. So how would she make money teaching if they're traveling? She would have to turn to a different profession. A nanny or something. Aside from going into a salon and trying to get information to rob and scam people. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. Go. You only punched me. <sighs> Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? <gasps> me? No, sir. Ain't from oh, there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. Oh. oh, oh. I don't like this. Me neither. Oh, you go gotta go. Home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be oh. careful, Arthur. Just a word. Nah, he's gotta go. Just my horse. That's my horse. Oh, he's a horse thief now. Please, I can't get up. Oh, you chased him off the cliff. Gotta kill him. Uh -oh. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, <laughs> yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Please. Oh, he says help or kill. Nah, he's gotta go. Kill him. Oh my god. Help him. No. Can't hold on. No, no. Help Step him. on his fingers. Help, Help him. Aww. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. <sighs> There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, I love oh. pens. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man. Jimmy Brooks. Mm. Mm. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. That's right. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. I will remember that. I've got a good memory. Oh, I have it. Ah, 
haven't. That was intimidating not, as hell. Not one lick. Not one cent in this year old. That was cool. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You have a nice day now, sir. He said, I'm a good memory. He said, I'm not a good man. Right, yeah. Keeping it real. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's all was it. <laughs> Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hey. I say. Oh, man. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy. Are you about to kiss that guy and punch you? Oh, we have our answer. Oh, my God. Oh, oh they supposed to be way low, too. That's funny. We can handle these fools. Bar fight. Right. Tearing up the man's place. You wish you never stepped foot in Valentine. Damn. Oh, he's gone. Jeez. You count me. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. oh that's the, that must be the boss. Come here, you little greaser. Oh, this will set you straight. Yeah, yeah, I need to go. Right. Struggle. Yeah. Star. <laughs> oh, damn. Save Javier. <laughs> Fucking him up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Damn. You want some too, huh? Oh. Come on. Boy. He's a sturdy guy. Right. Uh, Y'all just got here. I know. Y'all are. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Oh my god. Okay. Enough. Oh, 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 stop, he's getting more stop, bloody. Please, please, I beg you, stop. Come, sir, you won the fight already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business, <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Oh my gosh, y'all oh. cannot stay out of trouble. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing mm. about. <laughs> Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. <laughs> How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. Mm. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. <laughs> and Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right, we ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, oh, trying no. to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, mm. but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. Mm. It's you they want, Dutch. Always mm. is. Charles. 
Go find out what you can carefully. Oh my Josiah, God. Oh, take Javier. Don't do it. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Oh, that's the way you clean yourself up? <laughs> well, they ain't had showers. They had baths. Uh, I guess that was bad. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. Don't My work God. Down there. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Mm. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you mm. get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. Oh, no. But I do kind of like idea. this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Oh, uh, I guess you're right. Let's get this off, boy. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You oh, won't no. throw me? No, he's an angel. I don't think that's a good idea. Nasty no. little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. You're trying to go back to Valentine okay, so after, after they started all that trouble. After they were supposed to be laying low. All right, right let's yeah. head into town. No bar fights, please. <laughs> I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Mm. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Hope y'all get there soon. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Follow Hosea. Look there. <laughs> Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small... Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember <laughs> right. <laughs> Go! Mm. Dinner. Poor rabbit. <laughs> we have the. I guess you couldn't buy meat from the the general store back then. Yeah, um, yeah, because they, have... they probably didn't have a way to preserve it. I'm sure they did, but you they had uh, butchers and stuff, mm -hmm. so it was at a separate then. store. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Oh, but they don't have money like that. I forgot. Right. Yeah, they broke. Sleeping outside. You ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? I'd have got a door hunting the bear. Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but 
We might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. All right, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. Mm. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for now, let's try yeah. and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him? Activate Eagle Eye. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? I'm gonna uh, just fast forward it to where they like kill a bear because these these are like kind of like filler missions and stuff. Oh, okay. So it's not. I mean, unless you wanna just, just whatever you wanna do, babe. Okay. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. I hope this bear don't kill them. <laughs> it could. Maybe it might kill the other guy. Definitely I, not Arthur. Yeah. Because he's saying he's gonna like trail not be, he's gonna do Lost it in a more dangerous way. Now, mm -hmm. uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that no. or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Bait. Don't split up. Arthur? Come on, Use before bait. we just... Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. You had to work hard for your food back yeah, here. Yeah, hell yeah. It ain't even cooking yet. <laughs> oh, oh, it's shit. already coming. Oh, shit. He's oh, my God. No, it's too close. Oh! Sorry. Oh my god. It looked like the bear already been in the fight. Right. The bear looked rough. Yeah, he got mean. Hosea, where you at? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. Nothing. Oh, it, got, it got him. Nothing at all. Oh, it knocked him over. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar 
gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... Yeah, leave it alone. Go home. Go home. You coming or not? I don't mind. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Oh, I guess he was going to jail. <laughs> I don't know why people always say that. <laughs> like, Put in a good word, would you? Who are you? Oh, that's speak. the prisoner. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. Oh, <laughs> that's the. Oh, the that's guy. the the prisoner from yeah, from before yeah. from the Winter Village. I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, you kiss me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, shit. Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious. I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> oh. I hope you ain't trying to check us, so Oh, man. Guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it right here. But wow, what an episode. This is crazy. A lot going on. <laughs> yes, yeah. They cannot stay out of trouble right. no matter how hard they try. Right. So they started this episode off finding a new settlement. And from there, they were like, hey, let's go ahead and check out town and see what's going on. Maybe scrounge up some food, get some money, you know, do something productive. And they go to town and they cause trouble. First of all, it was... Um, Arthur goes with the, uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but he goes with him and he goes with the three girls who are working girls. They go into the salon and they're looking to scam the people in, in the, in the, in the salon and get tips and everything. And so once they get there, the girls get in trouble and oh, it's just. Oh. It's a lot going on. There's One of the girls, she's seen someone she knew and i right. don't know what that situation is about right um another man end up identifying uh arthur from blackwater. blackwater and we still don't something had to it, blackwater bad. had to be very very bad, bad. because it seems like th that's the reason why everybody's on the move and why they have no money because all their their money is in blackwater right and so it seems like something happened with the ferry and they weren't supposed to do the job. Right. But they end up doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. And this is why they're off track. They're, they're going back east instead right. of west. And so they have to um, 
sell the bonds, but the bonds are still hot. Right. So they need some money so they can eat mm. and, you know, live. Right. And so we find out that they are scammers, they are liars, right. they are all types of people there, but not really completely honest oh man workers. so it's like yeah exactly so it's nobody's like nobody's a teacher right yeah no, uh, uh, everybody is a, doing something yeah. nefarious and so my perception of the group is slowly changing because at first i was like slowly you know, yeah i was like you know arthur he's a he's a pretty good guy dutch is the man and and now you find out that all of them are hooligans and so uh something else there was a, a gentleman that came from new york and oh, yeah, he was kind of spiffy. Yeah, he was very spiffy. And so it made it seem like he was a part of the gang, but then he left to go do his stuff in New York. And he's kind of like still involved with them, but mm -hmm. he's just on a different level. And so he had introduced some information about one of their friends, uh, Sean, mm -hmm. being held in Blackwater. And so I thought they mentioned something about going back to Blackwater <laughs> yes. to go rescue Sean. So hopefully we'll see something about that later on in another episode. But what it looks like right now is that they took one of the the prisoner they had, uh, O'Driscoll's men, and they got some information on where O'Driscoll is actually mm -hmm. hiding. So I believe in the next episode they're gonna go after O'Driscoll finally, and we're gonna we're gonna see him, and we're gonna see what's gonna it's happen. It's not gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. So guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. We are gonna continue our journey with Red Dead Redemption Two in the next episode. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and of course, become a member or join Patreon. Yes. That way, you can have early access to all of our videos. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Yes,